To write the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus ammonium carbonate, the first thing we're going to do is balance the molecular equation. And really all we need to do is put a 2 here in front of the ammonium nitrate to balance the ammoniums. We have 2 here, 2 here, and then we have 2 nitrates here, and the 2 nitrates here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Next we write the states. That'll look like this. Everything here is soluble. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. And then things with ammonium, the ammonium ion, NH4, very soluble. But the barium carbonate, in general, carbonates aren't soluble. And barium carbonate, barium's a group two element, barium carbonate is insoluble. So it's going to be a solid. That means it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube or the beaker as a precipitate when these two substances react. So we have our states. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into ions. And that gives us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So we've split all of the soluble compounds up, the ones that say AQ. We left the BaCO3, that solid, we left that together. That's our precipitate, so we're not going to split that apart. Everything else, though, we broke up into its ions. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So reactants on top, products on bottom two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. So these are spectator ions. We can cross these out. Two ammonium ions here in the reactants and in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation. Let's remove the spectator ions. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus NH42CO3. You'll note the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced as well. Two plus, two minus, that's a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus NH4 2CO3. Thanks for watching.